Good morning, everyone, uh, on this beautiful Thursday morning. Uh, we celebrate the seventh day in our Novena to the Holy Spirit. Let us place our lives into the presence of the Divine Trinity, the source of all being, our Father, the Eternal Word, our Redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, our Sanctifier. Vene Sancte Spiritus, Vene Sancte Spiritus, Vene Sancte Spiritus. From Sister Miriam of the Holy Spirit, Ruha Elohim, Spirit in Hebrew, Feminine in gender, lifts my surmise to touch sweet certainty that with a goodness like maternity, the Holy Spirit is tender. From the Gospel of St. John, on the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, Jesus prayed, Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and my disciples know that you sent me. I make known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you love me may be in them, and I in them. From the pastoral response to our parish synod, which was held on the eve of Pentecost 2021, we continue our reflection on worship, paragraphs 36, 37, and 38. And here I am quoting one of the members of our parish family. Worship is surrender to God's will. Father Thomas Merton prays, My Lord God, I believe that the desire to please you does in fact, please you, and I hope that I have that desire in all that I am doing. Close the quote. Worship is a constant awareness of the Lord's closeness to us. Worship is the song of thanksgiving and praise which we sing in our hearts without ceasing. Even when we are at work or getting the kids ready for school or preparing supper, or cutting the lawn, or reading a novel, or golfing with friends, or working out at the gym, or walking through the neighborhood, the Lord is at our side. This constant awareness of his presence is only possible if we are dedicating some time each day to the Lord in our prayer of silence and solitude. As I wrote earlier, our faith is so much more than giving assent to a list of teachings, our faith is a friendship with a real person. This friendship grows through a daily commitment to spend time in prayer with Jesus. A friend of Jesus must be a friend of silence and stillness. How do we worship the Lord during the week? When do you pray? Where do you pray? And how do you pray? Ask the Lord and his Holy Spirit today for a greater desire to make space and time in your life for silence and stillness. These are the heartbeats of worship. Let us pray. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O Lord, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You are here with us now. 